Bonifay City Hall is in a state of upheaval tonight. That's an understatement at this point. The mayor resigned this afternoon. Then the interim mayor called an emergency meeting to announce he's terminating the police chief. Dr. Emily McCann apparently decided to resign over the weekend. According to city officials, she submitted a resignation letter this afternoon. An emergency meeting scheduled for 5 o'clock this evening was posted on the city's website. There is no indication there's any other notification given out to local media. The meeting lasted less than four minutes. It began with the reading of McCann's letter, then Vice Mayor Larry Cook announcing that he was the new mayor and he had terminated Bonifay Police Chief Jimmy Macon. Uh, today, today uh, Emily McCann resigned as mayor of the city of Bonifay effective immediately. The constant and recent threats against the safety of my council, employees, and family are too much. While it's been a dream to support the city in this capacity, I cannot continue to put the safety of my family and myself at risk. Okay, the mayor has resigned. And I was the vice mayor, so I'm the mayor. Um, so at this time, uh, Chief Macon has been terminated from his position. Okay, about 15 minutes ago. According to our media partners at the Holmes County Advertiser, Cook fired Macon for neg negligence and insubordination. Uh, they quoted a termination letter saying that Macon left his gun and badge in the Golden Corral restaurant in Dothan, Alabama on August the 15th. Cook also accused Macon of insubordination during the August 28th council meeting last week. During that meeting, both McCann and Cook tried to get rid of the police department and hire the Holmes County Sheriff's Office for law enforcement services. They were outvoted three to two. According to the Holmes County Advertiser, City Attorney Michelle Jordan says a former Bonifay police officer and others allegedly made threats on social media towards McCann, hence her resignation. Some in attendance tonight questioned Cook's authority to fire Macon with a, without a vote from the council. He refused to answer any of their questions. You can watch that entire video of the meeting on our website, mypanhandle.com.